Hello guys, welcome back to the Charo Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Resident Evil 4 which is released yesterday is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen for many users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about when you're having this trouble, all you have to do is just have to do a restart on your PC and that is what you have to do. For that, just go over here and click on this one and go for the restart after restart is successfully done just try to play the game so restart is actually a basic step which you are starting with like a starter just start with the restart that is what you have to do so maybe sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so just try this out let's move to the next step next step is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that reason we have to go over here and click on this one go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be done or cross-checked from this particular step that is called verify integrity of game file so this particular step is actually an important one so you have to try this out without an issue so just wait for this to reach 100 percentage and once after that you will be getting play button over here so just click on this one and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well so let this get completed in between so we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder so most probably hence we download the game from steam we will be launching the game from uh, here itself that is from the steam itself but many users that is why it is not working Sometimes we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods for that. The first one we need to launch. We can navigate to the installation folder from the Steam itself. Another one we can navigate to the installation folder using File Explorer. So I'll show you both this one because down the road we need to know where is the game is installed. For that just open your local disk C and from here first go to local disk C. Now go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here go to Steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now from here you just have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Resident Evil over here. Now from here you just have to launch the game. Over here as you can see RE4. You just have to launch this app. So we are launching the game from the installation folder. This is how we can do this up. So this particular step is from we are launching the game from the installation folder while navigating the file explorer. There is also a shortcut that can be done from the Steam itself. That for that just click on this particular game. Now from here go to properties go to local file click on browse when you click on browse you are very easily redirected to the installation folder you can select any one of the above either you can navigate to file explorer and navigate to this or you can using navigate to this particular one using the steam shortcut so you can go to this and now launch the game and most probably after launching the game from the installation folder the issue has to be fixed next one is all about we need to launch the game I mean, we need to run the game as an administrator. So this is an important step and this did work out for many users. You can try this out. For that reason, we have to click over here. Just go to properties. Now from here, go to browse. Now from here, as you can see, there is an application folder that is application. So right now we need to select this one and go for right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, we just need to click on run this program as an administrator. So once you set this to run this program as an administrator, you just have to go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. This is what you have to do. So once you've been set into this one, just try to launch the game and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about after launching the game or running the game as an administrator, most probably the issue has to be fixed. But even if it's still not working, we need to do few more steps, but there is one more step that I would like to add. Hence, we are in the installation folder. Sometimes after running the game, in the uh, I mean running the game as an administrator, you can also run the game in compatibility mode. This did work it for many users. You can try this out. So just right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, once you go to compatibility, you can do it once again. So go to properties, go to compatibility. Over here, as you can see, there is an option called compatibility mode. Just click on this one, run this program in compatibility mode and set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK. For many users, when they run the game in uh, compatibility mode, that did work it. But for some users, the issue become more severe. So if that is the case, you just have to remove this particular step. That means just go same, uh, same way, go to compatibility, remove this one. 
and keep only run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for okay and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to change the language to windows i mean we need to change the language of windows to english if it has been changed into any other default for that reason go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to time and language go to language so if the language is been set into any other like you know japanese chinese you know arabic any other thing just change the language to english just click on add language option which will be able to understood by your side because since you're on the native language now search for english over here once you select the english just uh, select the english and add it so once you added the language try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is just go back and also keep in mind the date and time the time zone as well as uh, time should be always correct so you just have to turn this on both should be turned it on that is going to work for you as well once being set into this there is one more thing that i would like to make you notice make sure the region is correct so i am from india so i have to select india so do not select us while you are on india or do not select any other countries uh, by uh, not selecting your respective country make sure the region is correct okay once you set into this you just have to close this and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so what you need to do is just launch the game just click on the play button once you click on the play button just press alt and tab together so that is an important step and this did work it for many users you can try this out just click on the play button and press alt and tab together on the keyboard while you're doing this and for many users this did work it and you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file so for that we just need to go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to documents over here over you will be find the resident evil 4 folder if you find it you just have to delete it and keep in mind when you do this you will be losing the progressions of the game but that is fine you can start it once again there is no issue so just do it once again and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security that is an important step for that we just need to go over here in the search now from here go to control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to check whether the resident evil 4 is already added so just keep scrolling down and navigate to r hence it is in alphabet order so keep scrolling down a little bit so over here as you can see the resident evil 4 is added and the private and public both should be checked this is an important step and also make sure if the game is not added how we can add it by default for that just click on allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc open local disk c now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down a little bit and we need to navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here we need to go to resident evil over here just go to this one and select this one and go for open and go for add so i'm getting the error because it's already added so this is how you can add it if it is not added by default so just add it and once after done is this one so just close everything go back and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices if it's already connected this is an important step and this did work it for many users you can try this out as well so just remove everything from the usb port that launch the game so if you are trying to play the game with the controllers there is nothing to do just launch the game after the game is launched first you need to remove everything from the controller if the logitech wheels are connected if the controllers are connected remove everything launch the game after the game is successfully launched just connect back the controller and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we have to go over here in the search now go to system configuration now from here go to services over here as you can see just go for disable all once you click on this it might ask you for a restart if restart is being asked just go for the restart then try to play the game as well so after this uh, perform a clean boot did work and for many users you can try this out as well next one is we need to disable the steam overlay for that we need to go over here right click and go to properties now go to under general make sure this is unchecked that means it is disabled and this is what we have to do when it comes to how to disable it and also there is one more step that we need to close all the overlay applications as well as overclocking applications for that reason we have to go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now from here expand it and over here as you can see if the discord first one we need to close the overlay application which comes to discord so keep scrolling down and if you find anywhere discord you just have to select this one and go for end task that is what you have to do so just end the task for discord 
then from gaming services and all those things and even first type kind of antivirus if anything is there so just remove everything overclocking this is about overlay applications but overclocking applications are like applications like msi afterburner reward tuner etc so that is a lot of nightmare for many users so if anything is running in the background you need to remove it that is an important step because this particular overclocking application is one of the main reason why many users are having issue with crashing and startup it is not loading as well as won't launch so you have to try this make sure the overlay applications as well as overclocking applications are completely removed from the task manager because it is draining out a lot of our performance so once you remove it just close everything and go back and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search search for graphics settings or type for graphics settings here now from here we need to add it so over here as you can see here i have already added many games simultaneously i have to add this so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc i'll show it once again if you don't know how to navigate to this this is an important step so go to local disk c now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to resident evil now from here select this one add it so over here as you can see it is added so there is one more step just click on the option as you can see by default this will be let windows decide we have to change this to high performance which is an important one because all else will be having issues like crashing not launching freezing and stuttering so set this to high performance because that means the uh, geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design is the graphics card which is being utilized when we are launching the game which is freeing us from having these kind of issues so just set this to high performance go for save then close this and try to play the game that is going to work for you like a miracle next one we need to make sure the windows is up to date for that we have to go over here in the search go to settings over here go to system at the top keep scrolling down and go to, sorry go to windows update at the bottom make sure this is up to date so if you're having anything like this just download and install this as well as if you're having any cumulative update just update it and uh, and also make sure if you are having any kind of error like 0x80f08ff i have uplo already uploaded many videos on how to fix kb error so you can check many one of this and that is going to work for you as well so just update your windows then try to play the game next one is we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to open this go to nvidia over here now select the product type you have to select the product type so i'll be providing both link for gf nvidia as well as for the amd in the description select everything according to your pc's configuration like so, uh, operating system and everything go for start search and you go for start search you'll be getting the latest versions of graphics card over here if you scroll down the latest version is released on 531.41 which is released on march 23 2023 you can download this which is the latest version and over, over here as you can see 531.41 that is also the latest one so download this one and install it and do a restart on your pc and try to play the game if you're on the amd just download this one select the respective details over here and go for submit now you'll be getting two options like this windows 11 and windows 10 if you're on windows 11 you have to download this adrenaline version and if you're on windows 10 you have to download this adrenaline version after that restart your pc and try to play the game Next one is we need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description so you don't have to worry. From this page, you have to download any one of this. If the system is 64 type, you have to download this one. If the system is 86, you have to download this one. If you don't know how to check the system type, just follow the instruction that we just need to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now go to the system at the top, keep scrolling down and navigate to above. Over here, you will be able to find the system type is 64 bit operating system. That is X64 based processor. So just go back to the link, then you just need to download this one and install it and that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about after this, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, go over here in the search, go to view advanced system setting. Now just go to advanced, click on settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. Over here, we need to give the value. Over here, make sure the first one under the virtual memory, this should not be selected. If you select this, you will not be able to select the local disk. So uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed. Then go for custom size. Here we have to give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. We need to know what is the RAM of the computer first because we need to do few calculation. So just check the RAM. If you don't know how to check the RAM, 
just go over here in the search go to settings once again go at the system at the top keep scrolling down and navigate to about over here now go to over here as you can understand the install and ram is 32 gb is the ram so just close this and go back over here now we need to go to the calculator so just go to the calculator so multiply 32 gb into 1024 so 1024 is a uh, co uh, common value just multiply your ram with 1024 so in my case it is 32 gb so i have to multiply with this one that brings you 32768 so i have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings me 49152 so i have to paste it over here next one is all about i have to multiply it once again that is 32 gb into 1024 that is 32768 i have to multiply it with 3 that is 90,304. so i have to copy this and i have to paste it as well so initial size as well as maximum size has been set now just close everything restart your pc sorry restart your pc and try to play the game and that is going to work for you most probably these steps will be completely fixed even after trying it's still not working there is one more step that is called uninstall the game and reinstalling it back that is going to that did work it for many users for uninstalling the game just click over here go to manage then just uh, uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you just have to go back and make sure if you're having i'm over here as you can see i'm having only one local list so the game should be installed uh, sh i have uninstalling the game and reinstalling back on the same disk is not going to work so i have to try any other disk and i have to uh, play with the game simultaneously make sure if you uninstall the frame uh, game frame c and you have d then install the game only and that is going to work for you as well so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with resident evil 4 and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye